Wait a minute. Yeah, all better. Woo! Hi, welcome back to Faded Love Vintage. I'm Colleen and today we're out shopping. I am on my way to go to my accountant to drop off all the tax paperwork. Um, and I am on the way <laughs> and decided to stop at the Salvation Army in Fulton, New York. So let's see what we can find. So the last time I was here, I found a ton of amazing stuff. Um, little busier in store and a little thinner on product today <laughs> but i found this art pottery piece that's actually really cute it does have a chip on it and they're asking two bucks i'm gonna think about it because i believe this is a ramen bowl so i'm not sure this guy is a piece i picked up um, a few minutes ago. This just makes me think old Mackenzie Child, but I don't know. Um, but they're only asking a dollar for it, so I figured it's worth a shot. Well, that's kind of cute. Looks a little bit more modern than I was thinking. But this thing caught my eye. Look at that. The florals are kind of shot, but look at that vase. An Italian pink. I'll double check it for any cracks or chips. The thing I picked up was this Bromwell's measuring sifter, a little green handle. It's not in the best condition, but I think it's kind of cool. So I think these are going to be it for today. And I'm going to go ahead and head out. Cash out, head out. All right, I spent $8.61 in there, so kind of disappointing because the last time I was here, I did really well, and I found some amazing stuff, and don't get me wrong, I really like what I found today, especially since I suspect that that really little piece is um, Mackenzie Childs from uh, 2001, but last time I was here, I had like swung vases and everything in my cart, like a big piece of, of Fenton glass and... So today was a, a little disappointing in that I didn't find a lot, but I like what I did find. <laughs> Tax papers are dropped off and now we are at Port City Co-op, which is an antique store out in Oswego, New York. So let's see what we can find in there. <laughs> it's really nice in here. Oh, this is the booth right in here that I found the Fenton last time. Oh, that's neat. I remember this one. I'm not sure if I can do it at 50, but this is really neat. It's kind of a hard to find Fenton piece from the 60s. It's really neat. Wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's a craft piece. <laughs> so I was thinking it was one of those like fun like paper hats. Like um, if you watch other... YouTubers, there's a gentleman called George the Antique Nomad. Um, he is like an encyclopedia of vintage and antiques. He's amazing. I think at one point he was a, he worked for the Antique Roadshow. But um, there was a hat that he put on in one of his videos and that reminded me of it. But that's just, uh, somebody made that using books. So those are all pages. It's really cute and pretty. It's just not what I was thinking it was. <laughs> So I was looking at in this fun booth that has all these um, like Easter decorations and I saw this weirdo and he made me so excited. But then I realized it has a crack all around its neck, which is a shame because he's so weird that it's awesome. <laughs> all right, kind of making my way through. It's pretty. Looks handmade, but it's unmarked. <clears throat> it's only four bucks. Some pretty things over here. You know, like a kitty. Twelve. 
I was looking at that last time I was here. This guy, how much was this? I think I saw this last time too. 10 bucks. Hmm. This is a Fenton piece. This is a colonial blue in the open rose. Let me, I think I might check comps on this. It's been a while since I looked. I'm trying to remember if I did this the last time I was here or not. <laughs> um, so I'm torn on this because this is my favorite color of Fenton. But comps on this kind of are all over the place. Anywhere from like $30 to $15. So at $10, i am kind of torn. Because there's no chips or cracks that I could see. You know, there's a couple of little flea bites on the top edge there. So I'll think about it while I'm shopping downstairs. I'll think about it. It's not a super exciting piece, but it's just, I don't know, I just, I really love that color. But let's go downstairs, see what we can find there. Oh, that's a really pretty piece of art for 90. That's pretty. All right, let's see what we can find downstairs. These are super cute. Like if you like your Santa mugs, <laughs> these little bunny mugs, they're adorable. I have a feeling that they are contemporary but they're so stinking cute. Wait a minute. What are you, my friend? You're so cute. For six bucks. Ugh, that's tempting. But Christmas is over, my friend. I'm gonna leave you behind. <laughs> oh, I love this shelf for 30 bucks. I didn't even notice that at first. Oh, that's so cute. What are you? Are you fused glass? You kind of look like it. Black and white coaster, six bucks. Oh, you look like fused glass to me. I'm not seeing any chips or cracks. I mean, I feel like... Hmm... I feel like this isn't something that I can really look up, but I do feel like there's like there's room on that. You're cute. See more fused glass. How much are you? <laughs> Trying to be careful. Ten bucks. I think that's about right for that. I think that's about right for that, but I think for six, I think I'm gonna take the coasters though, because I think that's a good deal. What else have we got in here? Does this spin? No, okay, that's fine. That's okay. That's good prices on those. On the, um, <clears throat> what is his name? His name is Jim Shore, that's what it is. <laughs> wow. Well, that's interesting. All right, let's see what else we can find. Oh my goodness, look at the size of that. That is an old apple cider vinegar jar. Isn't that insane? That's huge. I've only like seen pictures of like the little ones. That's really cool though. But this is the booth where I saw that one vase that was like giving me fits and I was like debating on getting it or not. But it looks like somebody else Somebody else nabbed that up, but that's okay. That is just how it goes when you're vintage and antique shopping. These are pretty books. Dickens, American and Italian notes, Pickwick papers, and old curiosity shop reprinted pieces. $15 each, looks like. That's kind of neat. Oh, that's glass. Hmm. Dark green glass. Can you see through it? Oh, you can see through it. Huh. It's an odd shape, though. It's almost like a dollhouse um, <laughs> size chamber pot, <laughs> for lack of a better term. And here we are back at Crystal, because I can't seem to like kind of keep myself away from it, but I've known so little about it that I'm just... Eh, is what it is. But step down. Let's see what else we can find. 
Delft. I've been seeing a lot of Delft in here recently, and I'm okay with that. It's very pretty. But let's see what else we got. I'll let you know if I find anything. The nice thing about wandering through here right now is that it's on a talk show on the radio and not on music. So I'm not going to get a copyright strike while I'm in here. So that makes me happy. Uh, let's see what we can find. Inside here, I had picked up that little tiny um, M.A. Hadley piece. Let's see if there's anything interesting in here today. Ooh, look at this little tiny vase. Thailand. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. Mexican pottery. Let's see, we got figurines. Powder jar. Hey. Let me look at you, lady. An eye rice powder jar for $2. That is tempting. The feathers. I'm not a huge fan of the feathers. They're so cute. But, like, when you need to clean them, it's just, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. I have ruined so many feathers over the years by trying to wash things with feathers on them. Just a little dish. Oh, the feathers always get me. Very cute little shelf. Twelve. I don't really need a little shelf right now. What do we got up here? Are you hand painted? Ooh, you're pretty. How much are you? Let me show it to you guys. For five bucks, it's um, what are these called? Lily of the Valley. Little hanging bells. That's pretty. I might leave it right here because this shelf is pretty empty. Scooch things around for the cellar a little bit. Hmm. It's pretty, but it's not. It doesn't make me excited. 15 for the little Fenton Aqua Crest. Because there's the Aqua Crest, and there's Silver Crest, Flame Crest, Pink Crest. There's so many crests, and they're all really pretty. I really like Fenton. In case you guys haven't noticed that. <laughs> What are you? Oh my god, you're adorable. What do you do? What is it? Playful turtle ceramic, four dollars. I'm I'm so confused. Do you hang? Do you sit? Do you hang this way? I don't what are you? <laughs> you're so thinking cute. What I don't know what to do with you. But for $4, I think I'll take you. And you are also cute with your little ladybug. That's the word. You're also cute. Hmm. This little guy makes me happy. I think I might hold off on you guys. But I'm definitely going to take you. You are a riot, and I don't know what to do with you, which is kind of funny. Hmm. All right. So back to what I was doing. I'm going to put you on pause. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that didn't last very long. But what the heck is this? Oh, my God. What? Prince saving... Prince Shave Well, Shaving Well. Oh my God, that's hilarious! It's frog shaped razor, <laughs> shaving razor. Why is this so funny? Oh my goodness! What the heck? What am I even looking at here? Oh my God, that's insane! Is that nineteen ninety three? Oh my gosh! the heck? It's 
you see that it says 93 something that's hilarious my husband's always talking about like trying to find um like collectible shaving things i think he'd be like what the flip are you doing if i brought that home all right i'm back upstairs i think i'm gonna get it I love this color, so I'm just gonna get it. Okay, I spent $26.55 in there today. Um, I did pick up a couple of little wades, uh, the little wade whimsies. I am trying to complete a set. <laughs> um, so that's, um, so I didn't show you guys those because that's just for me. <laughs> but, all right, one more stop while I'm up here in Oswego. There is a thrifty shopper down uh, across the bridge. So let's see what we can find in there. All right. This is Fenton for three bucks. I think I have a single at home, so I think I'm going to pick this up. What the heck? These are shakers. This one has a busted head. Five bucks. Okay, never mind then. Never mind. All right, in the mug section, this is a McCoy pottery, or at least similar barrel mug for a dollar. Pick that up. Let's see what else we got. I'm trying to kind of, I'm only popping in very infrequently because this music is quite loud. Oh, look, that's a Fenton shaker for $4 for a single. Okay. Apparently, they just price all of their shakers quite high. Because <laughs> uh, those other shakers, those are really cool, but they weren't... That's plastic. They weren't $5 each cool, especially with a broken one. So, I'll let you know if I find anything. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, all better. Huh? That's looking like it might be it for today. Let's go up to the register. So I think that was $4 and like 32 cents, something along those lines. Um, so yeah, just the two pieces. Um, not a super exciting shopping day, but that's okay. I'm really happy with what we got. And um, it's just, we're, <laughs> this is spring in New York. Uh, nothing's really exciting. A lot of people are holding off for garage sales. Uh, so the thrift stores are starting to get kind of thin again. But that just means exciting things are coming. <laughs> and we have to keep checking just in case. Because it's like I was talking about that other, a couple of videos ago, where you have that one huge, like, awesome thrift trip. That's what keeps you going through the thin ones. So... And today was a little bit of a thin one, and that's okay. So it is about quarter to three. So I'm going to head home. I'm going to see what kind of time I have left. I don't think I have time to go to Pandora's today. But I need to go home and get ready for my Thursday sale for knickknacks. So I have live sales every Thursday on knickknacks.net at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> so if you like this kind of content, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want, you saw something you like and you want to buy it, pop on over to Knickknacks or eBay. And I'll see you next time. Bye.